hello 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 scorpio welcome back welcome back to divine destiny guide hello family hello soul drivers if this is your first time i welcome you again i just know that you are divinely guided if this is your first time to click on this message i know there is a word here for you if you're a returning soul triber new soul triber thank you so very much for your support thank you for your words of encouragement as well i love reading your comments i love encouraging you as much as you encourage me as well so i thank you i hope this message will resonate with you please give the videos a thumbs up that's a like and also please subscribe if you have not yet done so and leave a comment if you felt led to do so it is greatly appreciated for the growth and the support of the channel thank you so very much so you know already what the title is you're brave to someone to some fellow survivors that's the word that's coming through that you are brave see you have been through some things you have gone through some things life have taken you some places that most people most people couldn't do it most people could not and would not survive the things that you have gone through and you're still facing in your life today and as i read in the comments sometimes a lot of you are going through things pretty much life is happening and whether it's happening by the choices that we've made or because it's a spiritual warfare just know that if this is something you're going through because you partake or you partook you did certain things that cause you to have certain lack or you're facing a backlash because of certain choices that you have made if you are willing to confess to surrender your mistake and you know ask for forgiveness god is willing and able to forgive you and you can have a brand new a fresh start so it's never too late it's never too late so i'm just asking right now in the mighty name of jesus lord that you will break the chains over the lives and the minds of your people for those who are facing eviction lack in whatever area or areas of their life Father, that you will move mountain for your people because there is nothing too hard for you to do. I pray that you will find favor with your children in the workplace, in the marketplace. Lord, that your favor, your anointing we will be upon them, oh Father God. Lord, I pray that you will order their steps in your word lord you know the things that you place inside of us and this is why you're able to confirm with me with us that we are brave because everything that we need you have already placed it inside of us thank you for your strength thank you for opening doors thank you for making the impossible possible Thank you for raining down your blessings in our life over us, O oh God. I know it is not your will that any of us should perish. You said you are a light and our salvation. And because of that, we are not afraid. We are brave. We are children of the Most High God. We are chosen. We are royalty. We are blessed and highly favored. 
You promise you will give us double for our trouble. And so, Lord, as we continue to press on, as we continue to live day by day, oh God, I just ask that you will cramp and paralyze the plans of the enemies over your children. Father, I thank you for the way that you are making all things new in our life. That the last is now the first. Thank you for the way you are showing up in our life. And Lord, I decree and declare right now that it's already done. Prayers are already answered. Contracts are already written. Mm. Pay raises are already in place. Bonuses. New businesses are already. It's already done. Thank you, Father. And as I ask all these things in no other name, but your name, in Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Thank you, Lord. Oh, thank you. Mm. So I just want you to know that you are not alone. You are not alone. No matter what you're going through, we all have tough days. We all have sad days. We all have rough days. But just know, my friends, that you are not alone on this journey. And this is why we are here. This is why we're a family. This is why we vibe. This is why we hang out together. Because we are family. And the family that prays together, we stay together. So I want to thank you for being a part of this family because you know, when one part hurts, the all, the entire body, we feel it as a collective. And so even for these messages, sometimes it's hard because I know for those of you who have already gone over some things, you may say, oh, this is, this is triggering. And I do, I get it. I understand. But again, as we have new families join this tribe, you know, sometimes we have to go back a little bit in order, you know, Spirit, God, take me back to give a message. And I believe most readers, this is what, you know, even though people may say I'm tired of hearing that same message. And sometimes I am too, but I am willing. I am only a servant to bring the word. Because it is something that somebody needs to hear, even if it's one person, no matter how many. But this is this is how much God loves us. You know, there there is a hymn that says there were 90 and 90 and nine that were safely led in the shelter of the fall. But one was out on the hill away. And, you know. He left the 99 to go and search for the one. That is how much he loves you. That he will leave. He makes sure everybody else is secure. And he goes after you. He pursues you. He's relentless because he loves you. And he cares for you. I don't know who needs to hear this. This, you know, sometimes we get so overwhelmed. And if you need to cry, you cry. This is why he gives us those beautiful tear glands. Tears, it's a language that only heaven, only God understands. And sometimes you just have to let it out. Because for a lot of you, a lot of us, we hold it in. Put on a brave face every day for everybody else. And sometimes you just need to release. You just need to release. There is like a pressure on a lot of people in the collective that needs to just, just surrender. Just let it out. This is why he says we should cast, throw all your burdens, all of your, your troubles, your struggles upon me because I care for you. I am meant, I am built to carry that. He's saying, you are not. I want you to live your best life, your blessed life. So when you give it to me, then you can go, you know, enjoy your time with your family 
or by yourself. You can have that quality time. You can be productive in your work. Let me carry your burdens for you. So let us do that today, my friends. Thank you so very much. So wherever you are, you know, I just want you to know that you are loved. You are loved. And again, the word is you are brave. Spirit wants you to know you are brave. You are brave. Father, what word do you have for us? Well, Oracle, it says wait for important information. So a lot of you, you're meditating, you're praying. And this is this is it's like you have already done everything. Like it says, after you've done all you can, just stand. You know, just wait. A lot of you, you're waiting for a news, waiting for a message, wait for important information. That's all it is. You've done the work. I mean, my God, it's like the messages that have been coming in lately. A lot of you, you broke generational curses. You, you, you fought for your bloodline. And now you just need to wait. Just, just be still. Just take care of yourself. Just meditate. Just pray. I know sometimes it's hard when we're so used to fighting every, every time. We're used to as one thing come off, one thing come on. And now you're like in this place where you need to wait. And a lot of you, you're impatient. You're tapping your foot like, what's next? You know, you're waiting for the next shoe to drop. But this is what I'm hearing. Be still and know that I am God. Be still. Wait for important information. You are protected. I see the red over your head. It's like when I see the blood, I will pass over you. You have, you know, it's like you preparing, you know, the sacrifice. You burn the incense. You're just in a state of wait right now and it's okay it's okay this is not a no it's like god has three answers for us is either yes no or wait and right now this what i get from this is like rest and rejuvenation just rest just be at peace it's like the message is on the way it's on the way wow 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 this is this is good look guardian angel you are not alone you are not alone this is a divine confirmation for someone i told you you are protected some of you you may be seeing feathers this is confirmation and again just to know you're protected as well you are not alone even if you feel alone and you look alone in the physical remember you have a host you have a host who is there with you wow this this is this is just beautiful hold the space you see you are wise Dave, this is david you are wise. David said, I was young and now I'm old. I've never seen the righteous forsaken, nor their seed begging bread. So what you need to do is just leave that space for God to work in your life. Make room. This is what I'm hearing. Make room for God to work in your life. He's not a God that he should lie. And I know Sometimes when everything is looks as if it's coming against you, it's hard to tell. But a lot of you, based on the things that you, you have learned in life, you are wiser. You have more knowledge now. You know, it's, it's like you are in this place of your purpose. And again, you're just waiting. A lot of you, you're just waiting you're waiting for the answer and this is beautiful you fought a good fight my friends and you have kept the faith this is why i hear you are brave a lot of you you trusted your intuition you see the the owl this is wisdom this is you're wise 
You trust your instinct. And this is why God is saying you are brave. Because a lot of the things that you survived, you overcame, it's because you listen. You listen to that, that voice that said move, that said stop. Don't go there, go there. Don't trust that person. Avoid that person. And this is why you're here. You listen to the voice. You see the bird on the shoulder. This is God, that spirit whispering in your ear, guiding you, ordering your steps. For a lot of you, you track down your fears and your desires. See, you're brave. You're a rebel. You don't fit in. You're a unicorn. You're brave. You are the one. Again, you are the generational curse breaker. You are not afraid. Again, many are called, but few are chosen. Many are called. Everybody got the opportunity. They were called, but only few said, yes, Lord, here am I. And you hunted down the things that haunted you and your ancestors. And you smote, you killed, you took out those things. You tracked them down. All your fears and your, your desires is like now, this is why you're in a place where you're waiting because you did it. It's like nothing scares you now. It's like death, what death? Paul said to live is Christ and to die is gain. So whether you're living, you're gonna serve God, you're gonna do his will. And if you are if you are if you if you are not here in the physical, you're in his presence. So either way, you are winning. You are winning. You are a winner. Lost what? You haven't lost anything. Spirit is saying you're not alone. But you need to mountains. You need to stand your ground. So you have climbed a lot of mountains. A lot of hills. A lot of valleys. By yourself in the physical. But again... Spirit was with you every single step of the way. And when I see stand your ground, I also see like, you know, the seven of wands having boundaries. Keeping the bad, the negative things out of your life. You already tracked down your fears. Now, all of those things that had you in fear that try to break you make sure you have boundaries that you're not allowing those things into your life great teacher learn from spiritual experiences right under david hold the space so a lot of you this is who you are you are a great teacher you've learned from your experiences like i said David said, I was young, now I'm old. I've never seen the righteous, nor their seed begging bread. So you learn. You watch how God works in, in other people's life, how he, how he has worked in your life. And this is why you're saying, you know, though he slay me, yes, will I trust him? This is why you're not giving up. This is why you have not given up yet. Even though you've had mountains, Things, obstacles come in your way, call life. This is a part of life. And you have gained a lot of wisdom and knowledge from it. You've learned to trust the divine. You've had, you have a lot of spiritual experience. And this is why you're going to be able to pour back into other people. So when it's all said and done, all things work together for good to those who love God and are called according to his purpose. Nothing that you go through in life will be wasted. It is not how we start. 
So you may start by hunting down, but it's how we finish by being a great teacher, a great example to others, to wake up the collective, to guide people to the light, to be that lighthouse, to encourage, to inspire, to motivate people to get up, stop sleeping on yourself, take your power back. You are brave, you are the warrior, prince or princess. Wow, that's, that's amazing. This is why all of the tests we go through in life, all of these end up to be our testimony. And I'm telling you, whatever you're going through, or some of you, you've already gone through these, but all of us, you know, we're going through a cycle. So again, for those of you, you're on top of the mountain. You don't know what may happen the next day. You're at the bottom. You know, you're getting ready to go through or you're going through something. But at the end of the day, when we go through it, I mean, when we see how the divine take us through. And again, if we just look at life as a test, as above, so below, we school, it's a test. So even the karmics, the evil family members, the toxic siblings, you know, the terrible boss, everything else, you know, who is working for, you know, the opposition. After, you, after a while, you get to a place where it's like, I'm not afraid. This is just a part of life. It's like, what's next? I've already tracked down my fears and my desires. I'm not afraid of anything or anyone. That's the confidence that you have. Because now you realize that everybody, everything had a purpose to bring your life together in the end. Everybody, everything work against you. Everybody, all the karmics you meant in, in, met in life who taught you a lesson, it was divinely guided for a lot of them. And even if the enemy meant it for evil, God worked it out for good. So you can't lose. So I'm just saying it's like, you know, it says count all things joy when you go through diverse temptation. You know, just count it all joy. The next car that come out is the moon. Take note of intuitive messages. Oh my goodness. At the back of the deck, guys, I can't make it up. Warrior, be fearless and stung. Be fearless and stand strong. I told you, you are brave. You are brave. You're a spiritual body. You're a warrior. I mean, it's like, like I said, you are, you are a rebel. You are a generation curse breaker. Oh my goodness. This is, this is just awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, divine. Wow. And here it says, autumn, release the old and rest. So yes, we're coming up on fall or autumn very soon, right? So for a lot of you, this is why the divine is saying, release the old and rest. We see the first card here. It says to wait, wait for important information. So for a lot of you, this is coming forth in autumn and, and Scorpio. That's our season. That's autumn. So again, this is just divine confirmation that a lot of you, you will be and so we are we are right there at the edge. So what, what it's saying here, don't give up. You're too close to quit. You are too close. Don't give up. Don't give in. Wow. This is odd. I mean, you know, it's always too soon to quit. We're right here, August. You know, fall is, is just right around the corner. So this is why for a lot of you, you're going to be feeling lighter in yourself. Uh, you, you get up, you're going to feel like certain burdens, even if it doesn't matter what the bank account says. It doesn't matter what the doctor report says. 
It doesn't matter what is going on around you. You are going to feel, you're going to start having some kind of peace because you've done the work. Trader, exchange energy to create abundance. Yeah. So this is it. A lot of you, it's stepping into your purpose. You know, being David, a man after God's own heart. Again, this is not about perfection. You know, it's about a relationship. So even though David made a lot of mistakes, but he's the man after God's own heart. David was willing to ask for forgiveness. I believe that's one of the things that makes him stand apart from a lot of people. He was always willing to acknowledge his sin. And for a lot of you, you know, you're willing to, to exchange your energy to create abundance. You're not afraid to do the work. You're not afraid to do the work. And this is why you're blessed. You will be blessed. Wow. Mm. Look, high priestess. So for a lot of you, you are high priestess. High priest. So you're already, this says harness mystic power. So for a lot of you, you're already, you know, some of you are readers as well. Like I said, this is where you're going. Because for a lot of you doing this work, channeling, you know, we saw the oracle there. This relies on you using your intuition a lot, um, following your, 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 your instinct. So this is why a lot of you are high priestess. You are wise. You know, God tells you his secrets. And, you know, it's like you hear directly from the divine. Wow, this is this is just awesome, awesome. I love this for you. Wow, lady, enjoy growth and reap rewards. That's at the back of the deck. And wow, love, success, the sun, enjoy success and happiness. Again, we are here still in Leo season. So again, this is abundance, growth and reap rewards, yes. You work, you will be rewarded. So this is you resting. This is you enjoying the fruits of your labor. This reminds me of like the nine of pentacles. You've done the hard work. It's time to reap the fruits of your labor. So again, don't allow the things around you to define who you are. But just make sure that your faith your faith is not shaken. So you need to know this, that you are brave. You are braver than you think. Wow, you did it. You did the work. Congratulations, guys. You did the work. And this is why you, you are blessed. You will be blessed. Again, abundance. Angelic frequency. Angels are here. You are safe potent connection so you have a strong connection with the divine and again you are protected angels are here and you need to know that you are safe i don't care where you're sleeping it doesn't matter where you're living it doesn't matter again what the circumstances around you what they look like but you just need to know that you are safe god is with you and remember, if God is for you, who can be against you? So for a lot of you, your third eye is also activating or activated at this time. Bro chakra, inner vision, clear seeing. So a lot of you, you have clarity on life now. And this is why I said you're not afraid. You are brave. You've seen everything. Now you're looking at situation not not from fear you have already slayed you tracked down and you you conquered your fears you're you're on the other side where you're just waiting to receive right now and so your third eye is activated for some of you this is what you're coming into where you now have inner vision you know a better inner standing of who you are and whose you are. And again, this allows you to be able as the high priestess to carry out your work. Mm. 
you have the power to also access the divine that's within you. Christ in you, the hope of glory. I am presence. So I am, I am the great I am. So you have the power to tap in. Again, God shares his, his secrets with his servants. So you know his heart. Wow. Heart of source. And source is God. All encompassing love. Unconditional acceptance. Serenity. So because a lot of you for the work that you're going to be doing. You will have a heart of God. Again the high priest. High priestess. This is why you've gone through so many things. That's to teach you a lesson. How to be humble. How to serve others. You know, how to have a heart of gold, to love unconditionally the way that God loves. You're not judgmental. Unconditional acceptance. You'll be able to feed the poor. You don't scorn people. You don't look down on people because you know what it's like to be neglected, to be rejected, to be left out in the cold, to be heartbreak, heartbroken. So you are humble. You have what is called an all-encompassing love. You just love. You don't judge people. You see people's heart. 